Hey guys, welcome back to Crochet and Ballet. Today we are um, on another episode of Crocheting while Bonnie is balleting. She's in ballet class right now. And today we are going to be making um, some scrunchies. Uh, so she's she's got one on. I'll try to put a picture of her wearing it up so you guys can see what that looks like already. And then I've got a couple of little ponytail holders that um, if you want to make these scrunchies, you're going to need these. I have a five millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to make probably two scrunchies today while we're sitting here waiting. I've got this, um, oh, that's upside down. Um, I've got this Lion Brand um, let's see what color is this. Okay. I don't know if lichen is supposed to be the color on that. Look at that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what color lichen is. But it's this pretty blue teal color is what I would call it. So we're going to make one like that. And then I also have this Christmas yarn. I thought we'd make a couple of Christmas scrunchies. So, um going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, Bonnie is in ballet class right now, and so um, if you have not joined me before, um, I've started um, my uh, crochet while Bonnie is in ballet. This is how I learned to crochet was while my kids were in sport practices and ballet pra rehearsals and things like that, so um, I, um, it's not really far enough to go home, so I'm here and I am sitting in my car and so in order to have something productive to do i learned how to crochet so um so i do t crochet tutorials and i'm really excited i think thank you everybody who has subscribed to our channel we really appreciate that and i have almost got um 600 subscribers now which is crazy to me that's amazing thank you so much and if you're watching this and you would like to subscribe i would so appreciate that um i would really like to get some more subscribers and um maybe hit a thousand before christmas that's a pretty big goal but that's my goal so if you're watching and you haven't subscribed please do subscribe um bonnie and i would really appreciate that sometimes she does ballet videos and i do crochet videos um, i do some tutorials and i do some uh like this while with crocheting while she's in ballet class crocheting while bonnie's balleting so let's go ahead and get started on making these scrunchies i'm going to start out with the blue one and it doesn't really matter what color your hair tie is i'm going to use um a blue one just because I have one so we had a little colorful pack of hair ties that we got so um, I'm just gonna do that so what I do I'm in my car and my crochet hook is rolling away because I'm kind of on a hill today where I had to park so what I do is I just um, I tie the yarn so you just put it through like that and I tie it onto just good and tight and just tie it onto the hair tie there and then so you've got it like this and I just kind of hold hold the tail over here against the the hair tie and that way as I'm crocheting around I can um, hide the tail end of that yarn and that won't be in the way so what we're gonna do is just um, go underneath the ponytail holder pull up a loop yarn over chain up one and I'm going to do um, half double crochets all the way around this hair tie until basically until you can't see the hair tie anymore so it's not necessarily a specific number that you have to do it's just going um, for I'm doing half double crochets which is yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three um, for just this first round that's going to go this is only two rounds to make uh, the hair scrunchies this way that I'm going to make them and um, it works well it works up really fast and so as you can see if you just keep doing half double crochets it just starts covering up the hair tie and so we're just going to do that same thing till the whole thing is covered and then I'll show you what to do and then we slip stitch to close and um, see if I sit like this you might be able to see it a little better so we will slip stitch to close and then we'll do round two and then it'll be done so like I said I think I can do two while we're sitting here waiting on Bonnie 
to be done with ballet. Um, I had meant to do this video um, while she was at ballet. I think it's been two weeks now um, that I missed because the first week that I missed, I was just, it was a really busy week and instead of crocheting while she was balleting, I was getting ready for her birthday party because she is, she just turned 10. So she is super excited to be 10 years old. It was a very big deal for her. So she got to have a swim party and um, have some friends over um, to her mamaw's house. We don't have a pool, but my mother-in-law does. So um, we spend a lot of our summer um, swimming. So she, want, she usually has an end of the summer pool party because her birthday is um, the last day of summer. Um, and it's you typically it very rarely is fall even the, it, it very rarely is cold um, on her birthday so we can usually squeeze in a last little pool party so she had a really good time there she had so, lots of friends come over that were super sweet and just um, they had a really good time uh, swimming and playing oh well it rained so it rained at her birthday party but um, it, it wasn't cold but it did like the weather here is so crazy because there's like a chance of rain every day in the summertime but usually that doesn't necessarily mean it will rain and it or if it does rain it doesn't typically rain all day so she, there was a 30 percent chance of afternoon rain on the day of her birthday the day before when i looked and i was like that's nothing it's probably not even gonna rain here and if it does it's not gonna be like you know all day and then so we woke up the morning of her birthday party and it was cloudy but it, it wasn't raining and we looked up and then there was like a 40 percent chance of rain so it had gone up some and we were like well but it's still even if it rains you know that just kind of means scattered typically it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna rain um, during the time of the party and so we kind of waited around and waited around and um, my husband and son had gone, her dad and brother had gone motor to ride motorcycles for the morning before her party because they were training for a race. So they were going to go ride motorcycles and then come back for the party and, um, which was totally fine. And so Bonnie, it was just me and Bonnie hanging out and we, um, about, let's see, her birthday party, we, it was at four. So about two o'clock, we had looked at the weather on the news channel and it said, the, the girl was like, you know, it's gonna start raining um, probably about two o'clock today and be done by about four. So we're like, uh, okay, well, so right at two, it started like literally torrential downpourings of rain. So Bonnie's face is just, oh, she's really like, oh no, like it's gonna rain. And I'm like, yeah, but, it's two hours before your party like it would be highly unusual for it to still be raining this hard you know at your party it'll be fine it's a pool party everybody's coming to get wet anyway and so i i kind of delayed going over to set up for the party because it was pouring down rain and so I'll have to show you a picture. I'll put a picture up here right now of Bonnie. She was just skateboarding back and forth on her porch watching the rain, hoping and praying that it would stop by her party. And we, um, it did not stop. So we ended up going over, we went on over to my mother-in-law's house to set up. And I was like, you know what? It's not thunderstorming. It's not lightning. You can, um, you can swim still it's it's fine I had gotten this little outdoor badminton uh, portable thing that a net and the badminton and the birdies and everything and I was like you all can play badminton you know I remember when I was a kid sometimes the most fun we had was in the rain outside playing and doing stuff like that so I was like y'all are kids it'll be fine everybody will still have fun they're coming you know you're already gonna be wet it'll be fine and it's because it's not even cold so it'll be fine and <laughs> so anyway and I kept thinking like it's still gonna stop like surely it never stopped. It pour, it rained the whole time, but her, they had a blast. They had so much fun. They swam, they had giant floats, and they had the, um, the badminton set to play with, and they, I got a volleyball too so they could play volleyball, um, and it, they had so much fun. So it was, it was a good birthday, even though it rained and it was a swim party. It was still, it was not cold, and they still had a good time. So I was very thankful that even though it rained, 
everybody still had a good time. She has really sweet friends that came and we were thankful they all would, were able to come. And uh, she was really excited to turn 10. Um, I guess she feels a lot older, so that's good. And um, 10 always makes me cry when my son turned 10. I cried because I was like, oh my gosh, like this amount of time again and he's 20 and he's out of the house and now I'm like, oh no, and now Bonnie. I'll just have the two. So anyway, that was her birthday party. So it was a really busy week. I'm going to go ahead and get us started on the second row now though, because I have, it should look like this when you're done with all the way around the ponytail holder. And we're just going to find that first stitch and slip stitch to close that round. And then we only have this one more row to do, but what you're going to do with however many stitches you have around in each stitch, you're going to put four uh, tri triple crochets which so we're gonna chain four um, to begin with because that will count as our first triple crochet so there's one two three four and then a triple crochet is yarn over twice go into that same loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that gives you it's like a double crochet but one more one more yarn over, one more pull through. So um, we're going to do four of those in each one. So this counts as two because our chain counted as one. This one's two. So now we've got three and four. This will be our last one. Yarn over twice. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's four in that first loop and we're going to do that all the way around and it'll make them kind of scrunch up for the scrunchie and make a nice little scrunchie. So just four of four triple crochets into every single stitch all the way around. Doesn't matter how many stitches you have, as long as you as you've covered your hair tie um, to where you can't see the hair tie, just it doesn't matter. Everybody's hair tie is probably going to be different. So it doesn't matter how that goes. Just just do four of them, four triple crochets into each stitch all the way around. So it'll kind of look like that after you get, I've got two stitches done. And then I'll do a few more and show you how it should look once they start kind of gathering up. So anyway, so that was the first week and, and she had all of that happen. And then on her actual birthday, since we homeschool, um, are here locally our roller skate arena um, has homeschool skate on Tuesdays like in the afternoons while other kids um, are in school I guess so they have homeschool skate and Tuesday was her actual birthday that week and so we got to go do that and had some friends meet us there so she got to do that on her actual birthday which was really fun um, she's good at roller skating and she likes to do that and of course her brother came too so and I gave her the day off school. So she was pretty happy about that too for her birthday. So she got to kind of just hang out and do kind of whatever she wanted and go roller skate with friends and have a have a good fun day. So that was fun. And then the next week I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some more tutorials. I wasn't sure exactly. I was, cause I'm working on a pair of leg warmers. So I thought I would do that, but um, then I just, um, Last week her, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but her ballet class got canceled. I mean, I know kind of what happened, but um, I guess somebody had, one of the teachers had tested positive, and so everybody else was just kind of, uh, I don't think anybody was real bad sick, but they, um, they just kind of um, halted classes to let everybody get tested and make sure nobody else was um, sick, just to be extra cautious which I appreciate because we don't want anybody to get sick or anything like that. So, um, so she, her class actually got canceled a few times last week. And so I didn't end up doing a video, um, because we were not sitting at ballet class. So this week though, we are back up. Well, we have two days of classes this week. So I was thinking for today I would do scrunchies and then, um, when she has uh, her other class this week, I will probably do um, finish up her leg warmers and show you guys how I made those. Um, this time I make I like to make her leg warmers for ballet. So as you can see, mine's starting to scrunch up the little scrunchy is. So that'll that should be how it's kind of starting to look. And um, anyway, so I'll probably go over those leg warmers. Um, 
tomorrow and then they start their fall break next week so I probably will not do I may do a tutorial next week but I probably won't do the crocheting while Bonnie's balleting because we won't be at ballet so <laughs> but I do think that she's supposed to find out um, what part she has in the Nutcracker next week so that will be very exciting she will probably want to do a video on that and let everybody know um, what she's going to be doing. She's super excited to be back on stage. She would live on stage if she could. So anyway, that's been my last couple of weeks of busyness. Plus we're doing school and all that sort of stuff. Um, I homeschool both of my kids. So they're doing great this year. And we've been able to sit outside a lot of the days because it's just been really nice um, fall time weather and been uh, kind of cool and just feeling feels really nice outside so that's been good today is kind of hot but um, but it has been feeling pretty pretty cool so which is nice we've had a long hot summer so cooling off is it's always good. I'm not a big fan of cold, cold weather when it's winter time, but I, I really do like the fall. So, uh, they're both looking forward to uh, wrestling season, which is coming up. My son is in eighth grade this year. He won state last year as a seventh grader, and he's looking forward to another really good season, hopefully this year. And um, Bonnie actually wrestles too, so she does ballet and she wrestles and she got second at girl state last year so that was pretty exciting and um she's looking forward i think she'll have um we kind of have to juggle a little bit with wrestling and ballet but um wrestling is pretty flexible she just kind of goes um when she can which is uh she can i think she'll be able to make it like two or three days a week at least for practices so and then we'll see what tournament she gets to go to um, that will be coming up um, she really enjoys wrestling and she really enjoys ballet so I, I like that I think those are two very good things they actually complement each other really well which you wouldn't think so but um, you know with ballet she needs she gets balance and strength and all of these things like you know grace and learning moves and in wrestling a lot of it is being able to learn moves and she picked up on the wrestling moves really quickly um, probably because she's done dance for so long and then also um, and then also um, the wrestling makes her uh, really her legs she gained so much strength in her legs last year um, while she was um, while she was wrestling so um, I'm just gonna roll my window because there were some people kind of yelling outside which is fine but um, I had my windows down a little bit but uh, yeah so she really likes wrestling and um, the strength that she gets while she's wrestling and um, really helps with her ballet jumps because it takes a lot of strength to do a lot of the the ballet moves that they do and she gets that in class in ballet class but wrestling just is a different um you know it's a different kind of cross training that she can do and it, and it helps and then in wrestling it's really important to have really good balance and agility and so she ha definitely has that from ballet so they kind of they kind of cross over well and complement each other which is not something that i ever would have thought of until she actually did it that wrestling and ballet um, are complimentary like they go well together in off seasons training so um, obviously she likes ballet better and if one had to I asked her it's totally up to her but if one had to you know take a back seat she definitely she wants to perform on stage and be her goal in life is now to be a prima ballerina um, and has been for a long time but um, Anyway, so she made uh, a video about that one, about her fundraising video. You can check out our channel and watch that if you'd like to. And, um, but, so she definitely, her, 
her favorite thing is ballet, but she really also does enjoy wrestling. So we'll see how far that takes her. Um, I will say as a parent, wrestling, like I've, I grew up playing sports. I played basketball and softball and, um, you know, my husband, he played football and baseball and he played football in college. And, you know, I feel like I've been around a lot of different sports and athletes and things like that. But I will say that wrestling is like, is the hardest thing to watch as a parent because even if they're winning, which thankfully my son hasn't lost too much. He's, uh, he's very good. He's a very strong kid. He's in, I'll have to put a picture of him right now while I'm talking about him, but don't tell him. <laughs> but he is about 6'1", maybe, maybe 6'2 now. I'm not really sure. I haven't measured him in a while, but um, he's in eighth grade. He's 13, 6'1", 6'2", and weighs about 200 pounds, and he is very muscular, and there's not a lot of kids that age, uh, I guess, that are built like him. So I'm not trying to be, I don't know, I probably do sound braggy. Maybe I am a little bit, but anyway, he doesn't lose very much, and so that's good, and Bonnie really, she didn't lose very much. She, won't, she lost a few, but not a ton. I don't let her wrestle boys. She only wrestles girls. Um, that's just the decision that me and her dad made that she, um, and our state has an all girls uh, section in all of the tournaments, so that works out. But um, anyway, she uh, he doesn't lose much, so it, it's good. But it's still hard to watch. Like if if he lost a lot, I don't know. Like that's it's hard to watch sometimes, even when he's winning, because even if he's winning, like everybody looks like they're in pain when they're wrestling. If you've never you should watch it if you've never watched it because I never really did until he um, my son started wrestling several years ago um, well I guess he was in fifth grade and he's in eighth grade now so this will be his fourth year but um, I'd never really watched wrestling before that because it wasn't just wasn't really big here in the south um, so I never I never knew anybody that wrestled and never watched any wrestling stuff but anyway it um, it's actually a really it's a really cool sport I like it a lot um, and I'm very glad that they're involved in it. It teaches them lots of, lots of things. And it's a team sport, but it's also very, um, I mean, you know, you have your wrestling team and they work together and they practice together and they cheer for each other and they have all these team things, but it's also, um, individual. I mean, you know, when you're out there wrestling somebody else, nobody can help you <laughs> when you're out there. Like it is up to you to win or lose. And, um, so I like that too, but also it's just, I don't know. It, it made my son very quick too, much more quick and agile than he played football when he was, you know, for several years when he was little. And uh, anyway, started to get kind of hurt doing that, um, even though he was one of the bigger, you know, just like his shoulder and his, he had a knee injury. And I was like, he, he's too little to be having, you know, sport injuries. So we decided to try something different um and wrestling was it and he loves it and has not wanted to go back to football um I mean if he wanted to he could but he he has not wanted to thankfully we're able to um uh try even though we homeschool we're able to play with our public school team you know you try out under TSSAA is just as long as you go with the school that you are zoned for you can you can play sports at the public school so that is a blessing because when I when I was a kid and I homeschooled we could you couldn't do that here um, but you can now so that works out and um, he's got lots of friends and gets to gets to wrestle with people and he, he enjoys that a lot but um, I can't remember where I was going with this or why I was even talking about it but I guess just that wrestling and ballet complement each other and but it is a hard sport to watch as a parent even if they're winning it's still hard and wrestling parents let me just tell you I don't know I've been around like other kinds of like you know baseball moms and uh, dads and I, 
kind of know what to expect from other sports, I guess. And wrestling, wrestling is like, wrestling parents can get um, intense. And I, I mean, I get it because it's like your kid is out there and they're like, it's basically, you know, a fight, You're fighting with this other kid. And it's, it brings out a lot of emotions. So if you're ever at a wrestling tournament, it is interesting. But anyway, now I don't think we're going to get two scrunchies done because I've been talking the whole time. But I'm almost done with this one. Uh, it takes a little bit longer than you think if you're just keeping on going because um, you're doing four into every single stitch around. So that's, um, even though you're just doing two rounds, it's not, um, it's not super, super fast. But, um. Anyway, I see other parents are like going to pick up their kids and things, but I think they're, we still have a few, like 15 minutes till Bonnie's out of class, so I'll definitely be done by then, and um, I'll definitely take a picture and put that in here of the scrunchie that she wore in class today. I like to, um, she's been liking scrunchies lately, so I've just started making a few for her, um, and of course she really likes wearing leg warmers. It's not really quite cool enough to wear um, leg warmers yet. Also, sometimes her Saturday morning class is, is pretty chilly, so um, it won't be uh, won't be long. The next couple weeks she could probably wear leg warmers on to her morning class, and that would probably be cool enough, but um, I've got one pair. I've already made her, and I think I pretty sure I did a video on that and then I've got this pair that I'm finishing up that I'm probably going to show you guys tomorrow in the crocheting while Bonnie's balleting and um and then I'll probably make a few more pairs because I found this um stretchy yarn that actually works really well with leg warmers um they it actually stays up better because it stretches more and it's very low peel so it doesn't like leave fuzzies on anything and um, so I'm excited to show you all that tomorrow and to see how they do in her class she's tried I've got one time and she's tried it on at home and it's done really well um, and also look at my nails aren't they cute I did some little like fall nail things but um, anyway so yeah the I was excited to find that stretchy yarn and be able to uh, do her leg warmers in that um, I'm always looking for ways that will make things that will make leg warmers stay up better. I've also found this, um, I'll have to show you guys this other thing too. I found this like, uh, I don't know if it would be body glue or like a, I guess it would be some kind of like, but I thought she could maybe spray her tights and make sure that they don't come, come down. Sometimes I put ties on my leg warmers to try to help them, you know, cause everybody's legs are different. So you or you know if they stretch out some or whatever but um anyway I'll show you guys tomorrow the stretchy yarn um that is low peel that I am really excited about I found it at Hobby Lobby I cannot think what it is right now but I will bring it tomorrow and show everybody what it is made out of and all of that but it's very I just kind of randomly was you know feeling yarns and what they felt like while I was in Hobby Lobby and um, because that's how I can tell what I want to use is how by how they feel and the this one I was like oh that is like really stretchy and then I was like I bet that would be really good for leg warmers so I've about got the second one done I'll probably finish up finish it up tomorrow and then um, while I'm while Bonnie's in ballet class we'll do it uh, tomorrow finish it up together and I'll give you guys the pattern in case you want to make it um, and I could show you the one I already have made maybe I'll take some pictures with Bonnie with the one on that I already have made and uh, then afterwards we can do pictures with both of them but um, Anyway, so I am almost to the end of this. I just have two stitches left of the scrunchie. Oh, well, this is my fourth one in this one, and then I have two more. So we 
we are almost done. And it looks like about right on time because not quite time for her to come out yet, but it will be soon. Okay, there's three, four, and then I've got one more left. So we are back around to the beginning, and this is what our scrunchie looks like. So you're just going to find that first stitch at the top and slip stitch it together. And then cut your yarn, yarn over and pull it through one more time. Pull that tight and a prod a yarn needle. So you should have like a little bit of a tail. So here it is, scrunchie. Bonnie likes these little ones because they can go over her bun like this, and they hold tight and they don't, um, you don't have to like twist them around. So she likes, she likes it when I do the smaller hair ties, uh, for what she's doing. So you can do whatever size hair tie you would like. And then I just kind of weave it in and out down to the bottom. And then um, just hide the yarn. I just kind of go back and forth along the bottom and it hides that that tail end of the yarn and then we'll cut off the extra and we have a scrunchie. And I think that I could have done it a little faster <laughs> than what I did if I hadn't been talking so much but sometimes it's hard to talk and crochet at the same time at least for me. So good enough there. I'm going to cut off um, cut off the tail end of yarn here. There's that. And now you have a little scrunchie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, episode of Crocheting While Bonnie is Balleting. And hopefully I'll be back tomorrow and we'll work on some leg warmers and give you the um, give you the uh, pattern for that. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do like this video and subscribe to our channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.